remember this day. You remember? I remember her. She was two days old. Yeah. They were the proudest of parents, but Celeste and Mornay Nurse only knew the daughter they named Zephanie for three days before she was snatched from her hospital cot. When I woke up and she wasn't there, that was the nightmare. The sister woke me up and asked, Mommy, where's the baby? And I said, the baby's in the cot, sleeping. The baby was nowhere to be found. It was a real nightmare in action, you know, and um, I wouldn't wish it on any of my enemies. The nurses had more children, but never stopped looking for Zephanie. And every year, they celebrated their missing daughter's birthday. So I always had that hope, praying and asking God, one day she will return. Then came an astonishing coincidence. The nurse's 11-year-old daughter began her first year at high school. Here, she noticed an older girl who looked exactly like her. Within days, the police were called, and DNA tests proved they'd found their missing daughter. When you met Zephanie, for the first time officially knowing she is your daughter, what did you say? How did you feel? She came to me, she hugged me, and I grabbed her. I physically lashed onto her and I told her, you know, I knew from day one that you were my daughter. I just felt it. And the moment the two of us, we met eye to eye, I just burst out in tears. I said, finally, after seven years, after seven years. In fact, the daughter they'd been searching for lived just a few miles away. Legally, we can't name the woman who stole and raised Zephanie. She's now facing kidnap charges. What do you think about the woman who took your daughter? Well, for me, I forgave her. I forgave her 10 years ago already. Because I always say there's complication why people do things and Zephanie has been taken well care of. She's a well-mannered child. She's got a head on her shoulder. She knows what she wants in life. And I believe she was full rotten to the core. And despite knowing the most difficult of truths, <laughs> carers say Zephanie is doing well. After so many years, there's the chance for this family to begin again. At Thomas, BBC News, Cape Town.